Dear parents, teachers, and your father's friends, uncles, cousins, great grandmother who weirdly thinks she has a say in your life. Sex is not an inappropriate word. Sex is not inappropriate, hence talking about it in a poem doesn't make it an inappropriate poem when your little ones come and ask you about sex. Don't call it the S word. Tell them it's okay. Tell them it's natural. Don't call it making love. Tell them it isn't necessarily love. And then teach them about consent. Teach your young sons and daughters that their bodies are theirs alone and that no one in any relation can ever stake a claim at them. So when they ask, come and tell you how their bodies are not big enough, how they're not thin enough, full enough, cool enough, curvy enough, don't say the bigger the better. Don't say the smaller the sexier. Tell them about the size of the globe and how they can unfold it in their palms perfectly. Tell them they can rule the world and that the only size they need to worry about is the size of the pizza they'll be having tonight. So when your son comes up to you and asks you why penises are called manhoods, tell him they're not. Well, they shouldn't be. That the shape and size of your sexual organ doesn't make you any less or any more of a man. Biologically, maybe, but really, no. Tell your young sons they don't have to be men just because their bodies say so. Or when your daughter comes up to you and asks you why the old aunt next door told her young daughter it'd be a shame if the wall breaks, tell her there are no walls. That it's just a body. Don't talk to her in metaphors about her own genitalia, about eels and caves and blooming flowers and whatnots. Teach her about herself. Teach her that she can never be in any way pure or impure because she doesn't need to be. Teach your young daughters they don't have to be women just because their bodies say so. So when she tells you that she wants to be like Batman and not Catwoman because she thinks Catwoman's kind of hot, don't frown and ask her why. Just get her a cape. Or when your son tells you that he wants to be like Hermione Granger and not Harry Potter because he's kind of more smitten by Ron Weasley, don't frown or ask him why. Just get him a wand and some spell books. You can't teach these little people how to be perfect men and women. What you can teach them is to be better people. Being a man or a woman are states of mind. Tell them one day they can be both. Tell them the next day they can be one or none. Tell them it hardly matters talk to them about love. Tell them it's beautiful and magical and dangerous and devastating. Tell them it doesn't matter who or what they fall in love with as long as they do. Tell them it's okay. It's okay to love your job more than you love your husband or your dog more than you love general people or your books more than you love humanity or your girlfriend more than you love your boyfriend. You can't teach them who the right person is or when the right time is. What you can teach them is to be more human more prone to love. Talk to them. Tell them animals are a human's best friend and that a lying, cheating, heartbreaking woman is not a bitch. A bitch is a female dog and she's probably your most loyal companion ever. And that a pussy is not a coward and definitely not a term for the female genitalia. Tell them a pussy is a cat and that cats are royal, ferocious creatures. Tell them that the only animals they need to be cautious of look just like them. That fairies and princesses are stuff from old fairy tales, but sadly the demons are not. That there are murderers in positions of power, rapists upholding law and magicians in jails. Tell them the world is not a good place. Inspire them to make it better. Don't protect them from a world they'll eventually be growing up in. They might never need the protection. And for heaven's sake, don't make them fight battles which aren't their own. Make them fight demons which are yours and yours alone. Life is pretty generous in giving us all problems to face and situations to solve, so let them. Let them find their own battles, allies and enemies. Let them define their own countries, boundaries, histories and chemistries. Let them get their first battles from and then teach them to take pride in who and what they are, who and what they love and who and what they believe in. Talk to them about poets who died young but had great lives about witches who were burnt at stake just because they were magic. Talk to them about all the good things that Hitler did and all the ugly shades of Gandhi's life. Talk to them about God or the lack of him. How one time you said fuck in class and got scolded by your teacher, tell them how fuck is not an inappropriate word. Tell them how there are no inappropriate words. Be honest and raw and crude and real. Good day.